what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be all in celebration of Milk Makeup launching in the UK and I'm going to be doing a first impressions and full face from drab to fab using Milk Makeup only. If you want to find out more on this video then keep on watching. Okay so we're going to start with this pretty little product. This is the Watermelon Brightening Serum. Something really super exciting that I have to say guys is that Milk has now launched in the UK. So they are available now at Cult Beauty. I'm so, so excited. I have been playing around with Milk Makeup for a while now. I basically got to meet the team in LA when I went at the end of last year. And honestly, they are the nicest people. Absolutely love them. And I would say they're probably well known for their blur stick, which I'm gonna use, don't worry. Okay, so what I really like about this product is that it's super easy to use. You just apply it onto your face. I like to just use my hands and rub it in a little bit. It feels very nice and cool. It's a serum in a stick form. They love a stick and I feel like it's very, very easy. Now, their most famous product I would say is their blur stick, which looks like this. This is really designed to just use directly into the face and get rid of any pores. So I actually use this quite often. I love this product. This is probably the product that I use the most out of the whole range. But today I'm gonna use their luminous blur stick. I haven't used this product before. It is exactly the same, I'm guessing, as the, the, as the normal blur stick, but with a bit of luminosity. So this is what it looks like on the skin. It just gives you a tiny bit of a sheen. We're gonna apply that all over the face. Normally I kind of use my hands for my skincare because I really want to rub it in. My skincare and primers I always use my hands, but then when it comes to makeup, I hate makeup on my fingers. So we're gonna be using tools for that part. So we can see already it kind of gives the skin a little bit of a natural luminosity, which I'm digging. I like it. I like it first time using this. Okay, in case you see weird shapes as well, it's quite sunny. So there's sun coming in in case you're wondering what is going on with the lights. Okay, so next up are some products that I I've never tried before from the range and we have here a Kush lip glaze and a Kush lip balm. Oh, whoa, okay. So the Kush lip balm is actually green. This is pretty cool. This is very nice by the way. It has like a magnetic component. It feels very, very high end, very luxe. So this is the Kush lip glaze and we can see that it has a metal head applicator. But I think I'm gonna go with the lip balm just to prep. Hmm, that feels Feels good. Guys, you know I'm absolutely obsessed with lip balms. I love a lip balm. This one I feel like actually has like tiny bits of sugar in there or something. There's like a bit of an exfoliation going on. So I'm like, okay, smells really nice. Feels quite minty and tingly. I really like this. This might have to go straight into my little bum bag. We're gonna keep that. The glaze, maybe we'll use this a little bit later on. Okay, so next up, we're gonna be going in with our foundation. I'm gonna be using this with a beauty blender and I was matched up to the shade Bisque. So hopefully this is gonna be a good color for me, guys. I'm using a brand new beauty blender as well. This is dedication. This is how much I love milk. Just looking at the color, it looks maybe a bit darker than what I normally use. Actually, a lot more coverage than what I thought it was gonna be. Kind of liking it shade wise it's pretty good i'm not even gonna lie like i'm actually really impressed with the shade okay let's keep on going i used that small amount and it went all over that area i'm like okay so a little bit goes a long way i kind of feel like milk is really like quite cool so i thought that the foundation was going to be more like sheer you know let the freckles like glow and come through even though i don't have freckles i'm gonna finish off the rest of the face and then we're gonna move straight on to concealer all right guys so, so far, this is what the skin is looking like. And I have to say, I'm actually really, 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 really impressed with this. Like, I had no idea that this product was going to be that good. It is called Blur Liquid. I love a blur. I'm not going to lie. My skin is very, very textured. I've got very big pores because I'm really oily. So anything that makes my skin look smoother, I'm like super happy with. And I feel like that blur, that luminous blur underneath is definitely coming through because there's a bit of a shine going on. But in in terms of the color and in terms of the texture and how easy it was to put on, I'm actually majorly shook. I am so shook right now. I don't know, I feel like I've discovered a really nice product and that rarely happens. <laughs> 
Okay, cool. Wow. I don't know where to go from this. I'm so excited. You know when you find something that you really, really like? Anyway, let's continue. Okay, so next up, we're going to go in with the concealer. I have two shades here. I've got medium beige and medium tan. Medium tan looks really dark, so I'm not sure if I can use that for a contour. The applicator is like a little... What's this called, guys? I don't know what this is called, but I like this kind of applicator. So when it comes to concealer, what I really, really like is like full coverage, blendability, and and no creasing. Recently I've been taking my concealer a little bit further in here to really brighten up under the eye area. So I really like clean under eye area guys. Like I always have dark circles. So for me, I just love that look where it's very, very clean underneath. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty little sponge here. You can see it's loved. I'm obsessed with this right now. Wow, this is good. <sighs> Milk, what are you doing to me? Oh my god. Blendability wise, it really just goes on. The shade is really, really nice. And if anything, I'd say it could be a tiny, tiny little bit more full coverage. But coverage is very, very good. I'm going to use a little bit more just on the insides. Just where I want a little bit more brightness. I'm going to go in. You can really layer it up, guys. I'm actually really loving how this skin is turning out. I'm not even going to lie. It's turning out super cute. So this is what it looks like at the moment with the concealer. So next up we have this matte bronzer. Normally I don't really use bronzer, I kind of just like contour and then I'll use like a powder. So this is quite big, but I'm going to use it to kind of add a bit more warmth and dimension. I'm probably doing a little bit too much for something that I've never used before. Yeah, I wish this was a bit smaller, just on my nose. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead with our beauty blender and just blend that out. So we're using the bronzer to kind of contour with. You don't have to guys, but that's what I'm going to be using it for. It's very, very smooth. I got very scared that a matte bronzer and a stick formulation was going to be like really like 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 chalk do you know what i mean like very gritty but it was actually super smooth on this application loving i'm actually loving this tutorial i thought this was gonna go so wrong and it's actually going really good i'm gonna bronze it up a little bit more you know i like a bronzer look guys yes with like a bronze. Don't forget to push that bronzer right into the hairline without trying to get it on your hair. Very, very impressed. Okay, so next up is the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Powder. This is a matte loose setting powder. So you take off the lid and you have this, oh, why is this shape like this? I'm really confused. Is this meant to be this shape? What's this? I don't know if this is meant to be like this. Oh my. And then there's like a, I don't know what you call these things, but it's like where you can bounce stuff on. When this type of application powder first came out, I was really excited because I felt like it was very easy and less messy. Yeah, I don't know if like it's hard to get powder sometimes. So I'm going to use, this is what I would normally do. See, this this is hard for me. How am I going to pick up powder like this? Like, I need I need to bake. Wait, do you think I can tap it out? I don't know. I feel like it's going everywhere, but not in the... Okay, let's try with a brush. Wow, there's a lot of like products just flying around. I don't think I can bake with this, guys, because basically I need quite a lot of powder to bake with. But I'm liking it. I'm actually really liking it. So far, I'm actually really blown away. Jesus. <laughs> To try and do it to me. I mean, maybe I'm meant to use the sponge and stuff, but I just wouldn't normally do that. I think the powder is good. I'm not sure. I'm like very particular when it comes to powder. And personally, I feel like powder really makes or breaks my makeup application because that's where the longevity aspect comes into it. So looking at it from afar, looking at the camera, I think it looks really, really nice. It's still maintained a natural skin satin finish, but looking up close, for me, it's kind of collected in some of the areas where I have texture. That makes me a little bit scared. I really need the powders to like very, like set everything and be very, very soft. It is soft to touch, but yeah, we might have to play with that a little bit more. And I'm very curious if anyone knows what the sponge is about and why it's shaped like that, please tell me because that looks like a little sweet right now. So cute. Okay, so next up we have mascara, and this is the Kush mascara. And this is again a very weighty, they like weighty because it feels expensive. Okay, so I'm not gonna go crazy with the mascara because after this I'm gonna be filming some eye looks. But I have used this mascara before and it's very, very nice. It's very conditioning, it's very good. Yeah, I got some clear brow gel and I've got the tinted brow gels, but because my brows are quite sparse, I definitely need something there. So I'm going to pop them 
on using a different product and then come back and finish off with the clear brow gel. As you can see, our brows are did. I'm, I've been loving like a strong brow recently, okay? So in case you're thinking like, whoa, just been loving like a very strong Insta brow. I know it's not for everyone, but that's what I'm feeling right now. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this clear brow gel. It's the Kush Clear Brow. I think this product will work really well for someone who's just got naturally super fluffy brows and contain them. Like for me, there's not much hair there, so it's kind of wasted on me. But if you have got more fluffy brows, this is for you. So next up is gonna be the highlighter, Illuminator, which, uh, how is this different from the blur one? I don't know, maybe it's just made and designed to be used on top. At this point is where I'm very scared to kind of like put something on there because that might take off the foundation. So maybe I'll use my finger. Let's use the finger first, I'm like. I really like it. I feel like it's just very, very natural for me. You guys know how I like a strong highlight. Okay, so I would say that the highlight looks nice. I feel looking at the monitor, it looks really, really cute. Looking at the mirror, it looks like a healthy glow. It looks like a healthy sheen. And I think that's very, very nice. It's very expensive looking, it's very refined, and it gives you that healthy looking glow. I think definitely day daytime, perfect. But maybe I would want a little bit more razzmatazz for the, what word is that? What did I just make that word up? Razzmatazz? I don't know. But yeah, I'll say like for me, I, j I wish it had a little bit more like, ooh. So I'm a huge fan of like cream first and then a powder on top. So I think this is a really good base. And then all it needs is like a little bit of powder, powder on top. What I also found super cute about the range is that they have this lip and cheek stick as well. Oh. Oh god, that was tight. So this product basically looks like this, and it's just like a tint that you can use as a blush or as a lip stain. Super, super cute. I'm not going to use it on today because I want to keep it neutral. Y'all know I'm a neutral kind of guy. And another product which I absolutely loved from the range was these tattoo stamps. These are so much fun, guys. So much fun. They have such a variety. They have stars. I got my star sign, which is Taurus. Shout out to all the Taurians out there. And also an anchor. Yeah, so let me show you what this looks like. So it's literally just a little stamp like this. And then look, creates a little star. How cute is that? Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. Like literally, bam, 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 bam. I want to do it all over. I wish I had a heart now for Valentine's Day, but sorry. Okay, so let's wrap this up before this video is like hours long. I was actually really, really blown away by the lip product. The lip product was amazing! And also all of the skin prepping, like the serum that we had, the watermelon serum, the luminous blur stick. And I really have to give a massive bow to the fact that they've got the concealer and the foundation. Such a beautiful product, like amazing. I was actually really, really blown away by the foundation especially. Products that didn't really work for me are gonna be the powder so far. I'm not sure about, I feel like it's just too much faff. If it was just like a loose powder, you got me, you got me. Looking at my skin, I'm super, super happy. I feel like it looks very glowy, it looks healthy. So yeah, I hope you guys have really enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully it gives you a little bit more insight to more products from the Milk Makeup range. And please, let me know, what do you think about this makeup? What are your key products that you feel like really, really are super cool? What are some of the products that maybe you have tried that you really like that maybe I should try out? Please let me know. Let's start a conversation down below. And I'm gonna be answering all your questions there as well. Don't forget to click the subscribe button as well to subscribe to my channel if you're obsessed with anything beauty and also check out some other videos that are similar to this where I also do first impressions and reviews on other product brands. Spill of the tea, keeping it real for you guys. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys!